All righty. Happy Monday to everyone. Hopefully it's been an awesome Monday for you or it's been an awesome start. I know where you're coming from. Happy, happy afternoon. Happy morning. Uh, start of a new week. Got to feel fresh. So best way to start fresh is to get the, our posture on so we're ready to take on uh, the rest of our day and the rest of our week. <clears throat> so let's get started here. We're going to start off with a few stretches and we'll move on to some exercises uh, just to help target some of that area of tension and then help strengthen and wake up some of those muscles that are underused throughout our day. So either sitting tall at the edge of your chair or standing tall. Relax your shoulders, kind of tuck your chin back to where your ears are over your shoulders. Sometimes people like to imagine that there's a string tied at the top of your head and you're pulling that string up. It helps you get in a good, pretty good position of where you want to be. And then we're just going to tilt our left ear over our left shoulder, feeling that stretch on the right side of our neck. You're letting gravity just kind of press that right shoulder down towards the floor. Good. And it's one of those static stretches, so we're just going to hang out here for a few more seconds. And relax here in three, two, one. Come back to center. We're going to go to the other side. So right ear over right shoulder, keeping your left shoulder nice and relaxed. Also, shoulders level, right? We don't want to be favoring one side like that. We're still sitting in good posture. We're simply just tilting our head to the side, just like that. <clears throat> just holding this stretch. Once again, it's a static stretch, so we aren't really moving in this. We're, with these static stretches, you want to hold them for at least 30 seconds to really get the benefit of a stretch. Good. Keep holding. Less than 10 seconds. Keep those shoulders nice and relaxed. Feel that stretch on the left side of your neck and relax. Come back to center. All right, we're going to get those muscles in the very front of our neck now. So one hand over the other. You're going to anchor down the muscles on the front left side of your neck. So you're going to take both hands, just very lightly hold and press just on the top of your left side collarbone. Now you're going to turn to your right. Look up at the ceiling and then tilt your head back. Doing that stretch all the way through the front left side of your neck. Now, often people ask me, do I need to do the anchor part? Because sometimes that confuses people. Can I just be right here and stretch? If you feel a stretch, yes, right? You can be right here. But where it gets a little, where I don't like it so much, Sometimes you might have to really hyperextend your head back to feel a stretch. And if that's the case, then I would much rather have you anchor down those muscles on the front left side of your neck and hold. And relax. <laughs> good. I think that explanation took a good 30 seconds. So one hand over the other. Anchor down the muscle on the front right side of your neck now. Turn to your left. Look up at the ceiling and tilt your head back. Feeling that stretch all the way through the front right portion of your neck now. <clears throat> Holding that stretch. If you're seated, just be sure you're sitting at the edge of your chair. Your back is nice and vertical, straight up and down. If you're standing, once again, just be sure you're standing tall. You're not hunching forward. You're not overarching your lower back. 
Shoulders are nice and level. We're holding this stretch for 30 seconds total. And keep holding for another five, four, three, two, and one. 30 ish seconds. My internal clock has gotten decently accurate over the years of doing this. <clears throat> Maybe not exact. <clears throat> so we'll go into some more of dynamic movement based uh, stretches, which, and then we'll kind of move into some of those that's pure, um, I don't want to say strength training but some of those exercises that are gonna help target those areas that are maybe a little bit more underdeveloped and we need to wake them up to help us sit in more good posture. But for right now, we're gonna stretch kind of that, that area in between your shoulder blades and up into this upper neck area. So that upper trap right through here. So standing up tall or sitting tall, you're gonna interlock your fingers, bring your shoulders down towards your hips and now let those arms come forward. Straighten the arms out. You're going to start feeling that stretch in between your shoulder blades and into that upper back. But now we're not going to stop here because it's more of a um, activating type stretch. You're going to now bend your elbows, acting like you're holding a barrel, right? You're hugging a barrel and actively try and pull your hands apart while in this position. And you're going to feel that stretch even more into that upper back, that upper, um, well, we'll call it the upper trap. So it's that big muscle right here, right? You're going to hold here. Good. And now we're going to kind of rotate and turn towards the right still keeping your hips facing forward. So we're kind of turning our body belly button up. You're going to feel that stretch into your left shoulder blade. And I want you to try your best to not let that head come forward. You're going to feel more of a stretch the more upright you're sitting. Even though we're kind of pushing our hands forward, our shoulders are, re are protracted, you want to just still be in that good posture. And now we're going to go to the left, rotating our hands to the left, feeling that stretch now into your right shoulder blade. Good. Back to center for one last few seconds here. Good and relax. Excellent work. Woo, feels good. All right, so now next what you can do, if you have a band, you can get out a band. If you don't have a band, that's totally fine too. We're gonna do, if you've been here before, you definitely know which probably one, one is coming up next because it's one of my favorite exercises as far as overall posture. So you can have your hands, wrap man wrap around your hands like that. Or if you don't have the band, that's totally fine too. You're still definitely doing something if you don't have the band. Palms up towards the sky. You're going to drop your shoulders down towards your hips. Bring your shoulder blades together. All right. So this is our starting position. My chest is open. My shoulders are re retracted back. And my chin is tucked where my ears are over my shoulders. Right. Now, brace your abdominal muscles. You're going to bring your hands out, keeping those elbows close to your sides, and then slowly bring your hands back in. Good. Hands out. And hands slowly back in. Now you're going to feel this in between your shoulder blades and most likely primarily into that back rotator, uh, into that back, the back of your shoulder, the rear of your shoulder. <clears throat> But bring your hands out and then slowly coming back in. Good. Chest is open, 
tucking our chin back and we're not having our hands up here, right? A lot of times I see people want to go right here like this, right? Act like you're holding two trays of food, or two plates of food like that, and then you're bringing them out. Elbows bent at 90 degrees. Good. Slowly back in. Let's do two more. Two more good ones. <clears throat> Hands out. And back in. Hands out. And back in. Good. Relax. Roll those shoulders out. <laughs> now, this next one, you can use a banding as well, or you can go no band, all right? So you have, your, uh, we're going to start with our palms down. If you have the band, start with your palms down. We're going to actually keep them down the whole, the remainder of the entire exercise. Now, if you don't have a band, start with your palms down just like that. You're going to drop your shoulders down towards your hips. Palms are facing towards the ground. Just bring your shoulder blades back. Chest is nice and open. Shoulders are not coming up towards your ears. You're pressing them down. And now bring your hands out, rotating your palms up towards the ceiling, holding, coming back forward, and then relax. All right, so we aren't holding our hands up the entire time. Now, if you have that band, same idea, except you aren't rotating those palms up. Shoulders down towards your hips, palms towards the floor. Bring the band. Don't need to bring it all the way to your chest. Sometimes when you bring it all the way to your chest, those shoulders want to come forward. Just keep your shoulders open as far as you can. And then hands forward and then relax. Be sure you're doing just a slight break, relax in between every single repetition. Because that way, we're practicing the movement correctly. A lot of these movements, a lot of these exercises in particular, we kind of do the same thing or a variation of the same thing every time. And that's because we want to activate those proper muscle groups to help us stay in good posture longer. And if you take that slight little break in between every single rep, you're going to be ready to do perfect reps every time rather than trying to muscle through the movement. You can kind of look at all of these exercises as a skill, okay, rather than just pure strength move, right? <clears throat> And since we're in baseball season, or I should say the World Series, relax, good work today. You can kind of look at it as baseball players trying to throw a pitch or a, for every time. Every time a baseball player warms up, they throw the ball, right? It's a very basic movement. They've been doing it for their entire lives. But what that's helping them do is train those muscles to keep in that muscle memory of that 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 throwing motion same with our posture breaks okay so when we do this exercise almost every single time right we do this l retraction almost every single time we have a posture break it's because it helps train those muscles to help your body have that be more of a natural movement right so more of a natural movement as in we're training the, that area between our shoulder blades we're training the area into the back of our shoulders to help us stay in good posture for a longer amount of time all right, off my soapbox. Have a great rest of your Monday, everyone. Uh, if it's near the end of your day on Monday, have a great Tuesday. And we'll see you all on Wednesday, same time. <clears throat>